and hello everyone welcome back to another Lua tutorial so let's set up our first Lua program I'm going to open up my file manager and I'm going to go to documents I have a special folder called trash where I put all of the things that once I format my PC I don't care about it you will probably have a code folder similar to what I have here where I put all of my other code but for me I'm going to put it in trash. I'm going to create a new folder and call it Lua. In here, I want to create a new file called main.lua. If you're on Windows, make sure that this actually ends in main.lua and not main.lua.txt. Windows will oftentimes append that extension to the file name which you do not want. Once you've done this, you can open up your code editor in this folder. Since I use VS Code, I'll quickly open it up here. Here we go. Now everything you see here is what will appear here. So this main.lua, that is here. If this right here says main.lua.txt, then Windows did you in and they try to add a .txt extension at the end. You can just go here and then rename it and remove that .txt. I'm going to close this file manager here because I don't need it open anymore. All right. Now, first off, I would like to resize everything just so everyone can see. Great. To run my Lua code, I will use this terminal right here. But take note that this terminal is the exact same terminal as this terminal right here. The two are exactly the same. The only difference is this terminal is inside of VS Code. While this terminal is not inside of VS Code. That's the only difference. They both run the same thing. If you're on Windows or Mac, you don't have to open up a terminal on the side. You can just go terminal, new terminal, and you'll have a terminal to use. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I'm just going to get my setup ready. And here we go. And this is why I like having this terminal here. It just looks so much neater and we have a lot more space to work with. Next up, I'm going to close my file manager because I don't need to see this Lua file because I'm already in it. So let's start with the basics. Make sure you have Lua installed by going Lua dash dash version. And actually, if you get this, then you know Lua is installed. But if you go Lua dash V, then you should also see this. If you just type normal Lua, then you'll be able to do something like print any type of text, and you should see this. To exit, you can press Control and D, Control and Z or Control and C. All right, so I have Lua installed as you could see there. So let's get started. First, I would like to tell you about comments in Lua. Oftentimes, if you're following along, you want to leave yourself a little note to explain what is going on. And this can be a comment. A comment is not read by the computer. So when you run this Lua code, a comment will be skipped. So if we go dash dash and anything that starts with two dashes is considered a comment. So this is a comment. This is also a comment. You're not limited to the amount of comments you want or have. You can just do as many as you want. But that is also a single line comment. It basically means that once I go to the next line, I'm typing regular code. You'll notice that here we have green text and here the text is not green. That is because this text right here is not a comment. So this is a single line comment. Every time you want to add one, you'll have to add the two dashes to say it's the next line. You also have a multi-line comment. If you plan on having a comment that's a few lines long, such as a description of something, then you can say dash dash and in two brackets like this. This right here is a multi-line comment. And then make sure there's no space between your dashes and your brackets here. There we go. 
Now this can range multiple lines. So multi line comment. It is amazing because now everything that's between these is part of the comment. Meaning if you put any code in here, it will not execute. Same here. If I put any code in here, it will not execute. This one is just one line, whilst this one can span multiple lines. All right. Next up, let me actually show you how to print something to the screen. To print something to the screen, it's actually simple. You just use the print command and I will print something to the screen. Hello world. So print and then in brackets, we have quotation marks and then a piece of text we want to print to the screen. The quotation marks and the brackets are both important here. So do not leave either of those out. If you save your file and you run your file with Lua main.lua and take note, I'm in the same folder as this file. I am in this folder. If I say terminal new terminal, you'll notice it's in document trash Lua. And that is where I currently am. I know there's a Lua file in here because if I say DIR, I can see a main.lua. All right. If you say Lua and in your file name, you'll get hello world. Because that's what we're printing out here. You can have as many print statements as you want. Yet again, you're not limited to anything. So let's try hello Jeff. And here we'll now have a hello Jeff. And here's an example of where you could add comments. Here we could say print to the screen. And here we can say will print hello world. You'll notice my single line comment doesn't have to be on its own line. It can be after a command, for example, print. So here we're saying print and then we're putting a comment after it. This comment will not be read. If we were to remove those, the comment will be read and we will get an error such as this. As you can see here, it doesn't know what that is. So if we make this, then it can continue. Take note that comments will also stop code from executing. So if I were to make this code a comment, it will not be read. So when we run this, it's just going to say hello world and no longer hello Jeff because Hello Jeff is now a comment. To split your print up into multiple words or to add multiple things to your print statement, we can add a comma. I am cool. This comma here will add these two together. However, take note that this comma will add a tab between the two. So when we run this, we'll get hello world and then a massive tab I am cool. If you want to add these two together without getting a tab, then you could use two dots. And these two dots means concatenate. Concatenate just means add two pieces of text together. If we save this, we get one long piece of text. If we add a space here, then there will be a space between the two pieces of text. And that is the basics of printing text to the screen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next Lua tutorial.